it's no secret that the emigration is massive in the regions where our economy works and this trend is a very significant socioeconomic reality by being a crucial livelihood strategy for many and the economies are largely supported by the money sent by diaspora members. And beyond the money or the remittances, the transfer of knowledge, such as skills and ideas, is also very important for development. Therefore, while some actors continue to see their national abroad as a loss or as a brain drain, more and more are seeing the engaged diaspora as a counterweight to the emigration of talented migrants. Uh, since then, working on uh, diaspora engagement has become, let's say, very, very trendy. And this is a new mantra for many, in particular for governments, which started working substantially on and, of course, with diaspora, with many programs, uh, strategies, actions planned, and incentive, and so on. However, up to now, governments face many challenges and, in general, struggle to produce durable projects and this program have quite mixed results. There is still the feeling that the potential is widely uh, underused or undervalued and this is very challenging to find promising entry points. But in my modest, let's say, uh, opinion, the diaspora and the potential for development is such an important issue for the socioeconomic development of these regions, and it should continue to be. And this is so, so linked with the socioeconomic reality. This is a, a structural factor, actually. Then uh, an intervention on diaspora engagement appears almost as a must. It would be almost a nonsense to to overlook these uh, development components for practitioners and for development practitioners in, in particular, of course. Uh, and by keeping in mind that diaspora engagement is, of course, not the, the silver bullet of development, this is instrumental to harness the, the multiplicity of initiatives from the very modest one to more advanced because there is a yeah, a terrific pool of experiences, ideas, good practices that are just waiting to be capitalized, connected, tested, and possibly upscaled. We may mention, for example, the innovative tools in terms of know-how and skills transfer, which tackle directly specific development issues matched with, uh, with specific diaspora resources, also, many initiatives focus on startups since they represent a very dynamic part of the economy and have already strong links with diaspora. And also, the work at the local level seems to provide quite successful results and significant uh, systemic impacts. It may be explained by the fact that there is also often a higher trust in, in local communities by diaspora members. That's it. You may find more information on this topic in the learning brief produced by Reconomy.